Now, there's a bit of a diversion now. I like to do that at the ends of shows. You know that. It doesn't hurt anybody, does it, if I do that, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, a fun weight division. Slight change of pace. Let me catch my breath. It's super banterweights. Rendell Monroe, Carl Frampton, Jason Booth, Paul Highland, Jamie Arthur, and Scott Quick. Scott fights next Saturday, but I got the dates mixed up and booked him for this week. So here he is, unbeaten in 21 and heading for big, big fights. Welcome back, Scott. See, that's the way I work, Scott. If I tell you you're going to be on this week, even if I don't need you, I'm still going to have you on. I don't well, lie to you. Thanks for having me on, Steve. <laughs> That's all right. Scott, now, um, you, you, there's loads of, I've got loads of things to ask. You, your yeah. name's been mentioned with everyone, Monroe, Highland, Booth, and, of course, Carl Frampton. Are, are you going to go down that route, or is, is Ray, are Ray and Ricky and Speaky and Co seeing different things for you? Do you know? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure of them. I'm just, I, all I'm doing is fighting whoever they put in front of me. But... And beating whoever they put in front of you as well. <laughs> yeah, uh, and then... Do you know, whoever they put in front of me, I'll fight whether it's Rendell Monroe, Carl Frampton, Boo, Arthur. In, in, all I do is train and beat who's, you know, put in front of me. Yeah, and that's that's all you can do. Now, you're fighting next week in Berry against yeah. a guy, a fairly, a fairly lively guy. What is, it, is it your WBA Intercontinental title or something like that? Yeah, WBA Intercontinental title, and it's also uh, an eliminator for the WBA World title. Just okay. Not a final eliminator, but just... Is, eliminate the now, of, of that group of British and Irish fighters there, I mean, the one that a lot of people have mentioned, mostly, you know, Barry McGuigan, who worked yeah. with him, Carl Frampton, I mean, that could be a bit special down the line, couldn't it? Have you seen Frampton in the flesh? You see, what do you, fancy, what do you I've, think? I've, 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 not, I've only ever seen him, you know, I've seen him TV. fighting on Rob on just on TV, but, you know, that's a fight that, you know, down the line that could be a big fight and, you know, generate a lot of... Um, Attention, really. Well, it, it certainly, it certainly would. Now, let me ask you this uh, finally, and thanks for joining us. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's it like working with Ricky now that he's definitely retired? He's going to be working with fighters. He's going to be promoting. Uh, uh, you, know, you, know, does, you know, is any of it rubbing off on you? Just that, you know, just the whole point that this is Ricky Hatton in the gym with us. Is it? Is it? Yeah, is I it mean, good? It is. It's good. I mean, I went down to Birmingham with him a few, a couple of weeks back, and on the promotion thing, and I ended up doing a bit of pads with him in the ring. You know, oh, so brilliant! Was that a, was that a Richie Woodall's new gym or something like that? No, it was a it was a body power. Video, okay, but um, we're doing a bit of pads and just some of the things he was telling me, and you know, little just little bits and bats that he's picked up as you know on the way through, you know where he's where he's been, from, where no. he's been, and you know you can't ask for any more, and it rubs off on you, you know. You listen so, up. Absolutely, it rubs off on you. As you say, you can't ask for any more because there's nothing really. If it hasn't been done, I mean, Rick, Ricky's just about done it all. Listen, Scott, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Good luck on the 23rd up in Thank Bury. <laughs> and, fa- <laughs> and thanks for joining us tonight. That's unbeat. No, you're joking. It's my pleasure. That's uh, Scott Quigg there.